Hello, I just thought I should let you all know that this episode of Slice and Dice was recorded in a genuine haunted house. I was so scared that I prayed to the chaos gods for protection, but sadly, Nurgle appeared, broke wind and the room exploded. So tonight I thought I'd annoy him by focusing on something that he doesn't very much like. The Emperor! The Emperor! That's right, the man, the myth, the maverick, the greatest sort of living human being who sits ever watchful protecting the billions of billions of humans who populate the universe. If anyone deserves the title, it is him. But I've always wondered about who he really is. He was born to be the emperor. A bit like Paris Hilton, he was born the heir to the future of something very, very big. In fact, the men who created him out of their own psychic primordial soup never even gave him a name. Just the Emperor. So I think we should give him a new name. And I have decided... Bob. The idea of a character who was born to be epically awesome really appeals to me. I think the Emperor, or Bob, is truly one of science fiction's most underrated visions the embodiment of purity, the essence of the human condition, and the encapsulation of being clumsy. He was so caught up with his golden throne project that he didn't realise his most favoured son, Horace, had stolen his prized Cadillac and was going on a bit of a bender. By the time Bob had pulled himself away from his little basement project, Horace was practically on top of him and was about to wear the Emperor's skin like a nice cravat. Luckily, the awesomeness of Bob that had been lurking in the shadows emerged in time and blasted Horace into next week. Sadly though, dear viewers, Bob was left a little worse for wear. And most of us have come to know him as the entrails that sit on top of a very bling bling high chair. But there was so much more to him before all this. The best things about him are the things we never hear. Sure, we know he killed Horace. Sure, we know he tried to use the webway for some reason. Sure, we know he's doing his thing with the Astronomican. But what about before all that? I would love to see him on an episode of Cribs. I think he'd be such an uber macho dude with his platinum bathtub drinking Amersec all night, paying squats to dance for him and reenact his favourite scenes from Sunset Beach. The young emperor was basically what you get if you cross Arnie, Einstein, Zordon, Leonardo da Vinci and King Arthur. Now that is a jar of awesome sauce. In fact, I was so compelled to find out more about the Emperor's past and origins that I discovered a bit about his early rap career and his multi-platinum selling album Born to be Mild. And I can't think of a better way than to finish this little chit-chat about the Emperor of Mankind than letting you sample his hit single, Nothing Says I Love You Like a Chainsaw to the Face. So, Mr Emperor, without further ado, take it away! <laughs> The Emperor and I own a scene You don't know who I am, I will remove your spleen With my power glove and a psychic beam I built a golden throne and now I'm living out the dream I know the president, I shot 50 cent I even got a cameo in Resident Evil I'm the Holy One Don't believe me, I will prove it with my plasma gun I know that you love me, I read your diary Chuck Norris is an invalid compared to me So if you feel my flow and like my halo glow Hang out with my Astartes, let the good times roll yeah. If you a human who's sin 
are just a few blind men Or maybe you're an orc whose life is on the skids If you're in Eldar school or just a necro fool Or maybe you're with chaos, I still make you cruel So fly the flag, let my awesomeness soar You don't know who I am I'm the Emperor Twenty carat chainsword and an army of valets. I got fifty years of tapping. I got sixty of ballet. I am multi talented. Can't you see? I'm hotter than Shaft and Run DMC. So to finish the lecture with a big boom boom about the White House, he hit my ping pong groove. I love that ping pong. You feel me? I got to be knowing that ping pong. Yeah.